I think that there's a new deadly sin, the eighth deadly sin, which is uh, the absence of intellectual curiosity. And it's, it may be, maybe it's a, I don't know, it's a, a particularly American sin. But for me, that's the fatal sin of our time. And I think it's aided and, aided and abetted by uh, big media, at least in America it is. So you get this kind of relatively stupid information that's not nearly as complex as the beautiful world we live in coming at you from a big megaphone, you know, too quickly. Uh, and so it settles on us and we become uh, both cautious and fearful. After 9-11, for example, uh, we had a moment, and maybe it was true here also, where for about three days, it was just the deepest sadness that you could imagine. And that deep sadness led to a kind of absence of ideas. No one knew what to do. And this was beautifully shown on our televisions because for the first time ever, the broadcasters uh, were speechless. Or, or they were spontaneous, which is even more unusual. <laughs> so in this moment of sadness, there was a great possibility that we could say as a country, aha, we've suffered, and it hurts. And therefore, we're going to resolve to use our great power to make sure that nobody else in the world suffers like that. That would have been a beautiful thing, right? Well, instead, that lasted about three days, and then another thing kicked in, which was we suffered, and it hurt, and therefore we are never going to suffer in that exact way again. And then we became aggressive. And I think when I, I thought a lot about this, and I trace it back to a lack of intellectual curiosity, both in the leadership and in the population. Devo fare una